Everyone, well, no, the patch. It is a podcast. Welcome it, to the patch. Right. It's the it's uh, our gaming podcast. It is. Well, we got uh, Wait, Gus, Ray, and Gavin here. Talk about some games. Hi, hi, Ray. You know what? What's always like the benchmark for awesome graphics and like pushing yeah, the envelope? Like the duckies Duck, in, the, in, the in the tub. tub. <laughs> for me, it's yeah. hair. Hair. Uh, hair. Really? I'm like, oh yeah, that hair looks great. Like, and in fact, I think. Uh, in this most recent Tomb Raider game, there were certain video cards that Lara Croft's hair was optimized for. <laughs> yeah, I think that was on the PC there it was an option for like really. Is that like a selling point point on the box? It's yeah, like, it was like Lara so Croft's hair looks so sexy. I, I I went God, I'll have to find it. We'll see if we can put it in the link up. But there was like I don't remember if it was on an NVIDIA site where it's like her hair without our video card, her hair with our video <laughs> You're card. You're really reaching for was it like actually noticeable. Yeah, it was a really? huge difference. I don't want to see that video now. <laughs> and uh, screenshots and stuff. I'll see if I can pull it up uh, after we're done here. That's crazy. <laughs> But it's like, but again, that goes back to like a fine detail. It's not like a, a, a core gameplay thing. They should have faked like a L'Oreal commercial, <laughs> but with both hairs and seen how <laughs> crap the ad would have that been. That would have been better. <laughs> yeah. It's like. <laughs> That's funny. Something I never noticed in that game was her hair. It's just like, oh, it's there. I mean, yeah. she has like, hair. It flicks but... about. Well, sometimes it like it would fuck up. I don't know if you'd ever yeah. do that, where it, like it would stand like straight up. That's like, awesome. no, no. I noticed like a whole bunch of things going through her throat if you died. Yep. Tree that branches was pretty... and sticks. It's like fuck. Pretty graphic game, and it wasn't just like dead. It was like it was, yeah. no, and then struggling like trying to pull it out. Yeah, um, was that game. was a, that was a really fun game. I really liked it. Yeah. You still so have fun. a problem with the driving? Uh, yeah, it's not as realistic as I'd like to, like it to be. Okay. You're wrong. Yeah. But all right. We've had this argument. Yeah. But uh, oh wait, I can't believe I shouldn't say you're wrong. The but. two of you are arguing about the realism of driving. <laughs> 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 you two motherfuckers don't have licenses. I've been in cars though. <laughs> <laughs> I took a cab here today. I was like, does anybody like, else realize how like ridiculous this fucking argument is? <laughs> Gus just on the corner of the couch, just like <laughs> these assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I felt like I had a lot of trouble with the driving early on. Like it was like real swimmy and hard. But then, I, like as you level up your driving, yeah, you know, it was it was better. You can hit cars so hard and they drive off with no damage. Mm. That's At great. least in GTA Four. I mean, the other car doesn't have any damage. That's like a dink in the bumper. GTA Four, you plow into a car, that thing is gonna roll and like doors gonna come off. You also stuff. take a turn and you're gonna roll. <laughs> yeah. So it's why true. is it's it sometimes when you get in a head-on collision? You fly out the windshield, and that's sometimes never you don't. happened to me yet. Yeah, it hasn't happened to me yet, at all. Motherfucker. Sometimes I, I upgraded my car. Maybe that's a part of it. Could be. I, I, did, did you beef up your car? I just beefed it up yesterday. It hasn't happened since then. But mm. it, it wasn't like it happened every time. Jack was telling me something that he read somewhere that if you like hold right bumper in the car, you could put on a seatbelt. That's. Not I heard sure that was a rumor. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was fake. I don't think that's right at all. Yeah. Now, I've had some pretty sudden explosions in cars in GTA 5. Like, I was, I just went over a hill. This is like in the middle of the city. Went over a hill too quick. Got a slight bit of air, but enough for me to go over a car that was coming the other way. Mm -hmm. And I kind of barrel rolled off that, landed upside down, exploded. I literally just got in the car. I was just like... <laughs> I was just like, Jesus Christ! It's like you're yeah. on a movie set. You're like, yeah. there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looked incredible, but God damn, was I not expecting that. No, that's it's like funny. landing at a certain angle on the engine will just blow the car up. Yeah, oh. it's really touchy with explosions yeah. sometimes. I'm okay with that. I mean, cars, that's more ri more realistic. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, I haven't had, for such a ginormous game, I haven't had that many glitches. I haven't had any glitches. I had, I had a little bit of pop in. That's it. I had one where I was in a golf cart and I got hit by a train. I just had, went over a, I don't know why I was in a goddamn <laughs> golf cart. I was like driving. But the, tr the train mangled it so that it was all bent over. Mm -hmm. But my hands were still on this, like the steering wheel had moved over. Uh -huh. but oh, my, okay. I was steering nothing because the steering wheel was over right. there. Travis just like driving this thing. His pedal was like hitting the, the wheel and like, the, <laughs> the roof's over there. But it just, that was the, the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. That's not really a glitch. That's just, I guess, lazy design of the golf yeah, cart. Lazy, golf Jesus, car. Rockstar. <laughs> lazy on. design. Gavin Six years Free to make this game. so upset. Step up your golf lazy. cart game. Bung another year on. I would be interested to know the most purchased and least played game. Like, the, the game that was bought, that sold the most copies, but the fewest people actually put in. Because I bought games that I never put in. So that's a sale without a play. I know we talk about this kind of this particular game kind of frequently, but what do, you, do you think it's maybe Crackdown? Crackdown. It, I was going to guess because yep. of Halo 3. The Halo 3 beta. That game yeah. was good. And I imagine, well, probably not with that, but if, the, if a thing comes with a game and people were more excited about the thing, it's usually going to be a game like that. Do you think that was like a, a slap in the face to Crackdown that they included? Halo 3 in that or the beta? It makes me wonder if they had no confidence in the game. Like they thought it That's wasn't going to do thinking, well. Like, yeah. yeah. Crackdown like, 1 was a fun game though. Yeah, it was. Crackdown was After really the beta fun was fun. over, it's like, I'm going to play this game. Oh shit, this yeah. is fun. <laughs> it's true.
Crackdown 2 is not fun. The funny thing is, I don't remember much about Crackdown 2. I know I finished it. I played it. I remember not liking it. But I, I remember that video you did with like Jeff and Jack and Carrie, I think, where you take the wingsuit off. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Carrie had to remind me about that the other day. <laughs> um, that was Crackdown 1? That was 2. That was 2? Yep. Shit. Yeah. God, Crackdown 1 came out so long ago. Yeah, we were still down in uh, in Buda when that one came out. So yeah, that that must have been like oh seven, no oh six, for Crackdown one. No, it must have been oh seven, oh seven because of the Halo three beta. It's weird. To I go think it was May of oh seven. It's weird was to go down March. like March. Was it? I think uh, so. What? Yeah, that's about right. March April. It's weird to go down like my gamer card and see games I've played like years ago and just like remember how long it's been. It's like oh, I remember playing you know like a Crackdown. It's like, and then you look at like the achievement. Like the the dates, like fuck, I played that game seven years ago. It's actually it depresses me. Or like Call of Duty Four, which is a great game. It's like I played that five years ago. Mm-hmm. Jesus. It, it depresses me that I've aged so much on the current generation of console. To be like, oh, I remember playing Clone I was, and Clyde, and it was like, wow, that I game was, was great. I was a younger person then. I was a <laughs> I was like I was younger sixteen when the Xbox 360 came out. Like that's how I look at it. But you look well funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're sixteen. Probably like a fucking nerd. <laughs> then bye watch out for that thing <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay oh. Oh my gosh. that would have been great to have it <laughs>